Hello and welcome. And yes, I'm back in Assetto Corsa on the PC. And we're going to talk about the Oculus Quest, the Oculus Link, the Oculus Quest 2. So let's get to it. First off, I want to say that my experience using the Quest, both of them, has been a good one. It's been really good. The setup was relatively easy. Downloading the PC software wasn't hard. The integration with SteamVR wasn't overly difficult, but not as easy as using a console. So we'll get that out of the way first. It was a good experience for me. I was really happy with my Oculus Quest, the original. The black's very black, and on the Oculus Link, with a bit of tinkering, it was pretty good. Was it better than the Rift S? No, it wasn't. But it was still very good and an awesome experience. And uh, as you can see, I'm driving okay using the Oculus Link. And what I used was the original charge cable that came with the Quest. So the original Quest 1 charge cable, the USB-C works fine. Now let's go on to the Oculus Quest 2. Well, not many differences in all honesty. <laughs> I'm joking, yeah, there's loads of differences. The uh, text is clearer, the blacks aren't quite so black. The resolution is a big jump up. Little or no screen door effect. And was it comfortable? Well, it's more comfortable than the original Quest. Is it really comfortable without another head strap? Well, not really. You need to get something like the Oculus's original he head strap or something similar. I'm just waiting to see. But it's, it's great. I've used the Quest Link using both headsets and they're both brilliant. The Quest 2 does make it better for games like Elite Dangerous. But as we're a racing channel, or predominantly racing, it's brilliant for racing. And uh, apart from my bad driving, it's worth investing in it. Even if you have to have that dodgy old Facebook account. I've got one anyway. I just put pictures of rubbish on it really and uh, it's no problem so there you have it my thoughts on the quest it's great would I like a reverb too yes um, would I want to spend five six hundred pounds six seven hundred dollars or whatever it is no is it that much better probably for sim racing but from what I've heard it's not very good for games that you want room scale. The advantage of the Quest in this case is it might not have the resolution but on PC VR and something like virtual desktop or similar programs you can have wireless room scale. So that's got to be an advantage. So there you are, have it, my thoughts on the Quest and I hope you're not laughing too much at my bad racing. I do love these old racing cars. They're just so much fun. Right, I'm off. Hope you're having a good day. Stay safe. Enjoy your racing. I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs>